So will Brad Stevens be the next guy? I mean, you said it's been 30, almost oh, 40 uh, years. Not, uh, going on 40, 39 years, it's going to be the 1981 Bill Fitch. It's, it's, a, it's the last guy. Uh, and it happened. Uh, the other, only other two that did it, Mata did it. And, and it, you know, with the, uh, in 1979 with the, uh, 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 78 with the uh, bu bullets, the old bullets, uh, he won it. And then, uh, the, and Fitch won it in 81. There's the only two college guys direct from college in the last 50, 55 years. Will Brad, will Brad end that string? Will, do you he think could. Brad's it's, it's, un, it, it's, I mean, they're a contender. We know they're a legitimate contender. We know that Milwaukee is head and shoulders the favorite in the East. Somebody has to play them in the finals. There were three possibilities of that, Toronto, Philadelphia, and Boston. And now four, Miami. Miami definitely in that mix. And uh, they're one of them. And and they're they're not far away. Uh, there may be a – no, it could. It could. Yeah. I mean, he could certainly do it. I'm not saying this year, Bob. I'm not even saying this year. I'm saying in, in his lifetime, right. he's got a core now. You're, you're going to keep Tatum. You got Jalen Brown. Right. You got Kemba for a Smart. little while. Smart. Yeah. I mean, listen. It's a good. Oh, it's a wonderful. It's a good group. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. You know, hey, get a little break here and there. Something happens. You know, sure. They're, they could. They're. They're in the mix. That's all. Definitely. Only oh, answer your question is, could he? Yeah, could he? Absolutely could. No does question. He, does he? Gun to your head. Does Brad Stevens win a title in, in Boston? Uh, uh, probably not, because I'm afraid of Milwaukee. I mean, defend, all right, you know, it doesn't matter where Anthony Tecumpo goes. If he stay, goes to stay, he's going to be, you know, the towering figure in this league. I mean, literally and figuratively for many years. Uh, probably not. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. But I'm a, I have to understand I'm, an, I, I'm a negative thinker. Uh, I always like that. I I, I, I I like to be pleasant. I'd much rather be pleasantly surprised than disappointed. So I, I always like to aim low, and then you know if things get turn out to over, be overachieve. Yeah, I say yeah. to me, a, a, a pessimist is an optimist with experience. That's, what I mean. so, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Like I, I'm going to be the optimist here. I'm going to say that I, I, I've always, you know. And, and and I'm not a homer because I was about as big of a Brad Stevens fan as there was covering him in college. And I think I probably got to know him as well as any national um, writer mm -hmm. while he was a player. Uh, in fact, I remember seeking him out. I would go in, in, in AAU basketball. I would cover it in July. And I would write down like three names of coaches that I wanted to meet that I just didn't know well. And I would text them and drive out to whatever gym they were at. Mm -hmm. And I did that with Brad when he became, I think it was his first year at Butler as a, as a head coach after I'd seen him uh, beat Southern Illinois in Carbondale. Was he uh, shaving Texas. yet at those days? What's was that? He, was he shaving yet? In the, when he, no. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> is, he, is he shaving now? <laughs> um, you know, I mean, uh, so I, I went out and I, you just get a feel when you're around Brad Stevens that you don't get from being around other coaches. Okay. I always say, you want to pinch him and, and say, are you real? Because <laughs> at that age, his first year, when I remember having that conversation with him and driving out to his side gym in Vegas and, and just sitting down with him, mm -hmm. he was the same maturity level he is now. Like he, he had it. He just yeah. had it. It was like, there, he was that something, there is an it. And, and so many walks of life and, and there isn't it. And, and I, I've been fascinated with coaching it's for, you know, my whole professional career is, is, is what works in, in all sports, you know, uh, in, in all sports. It's just fascinating about, about what that it is and, 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 and how, you know, yeah, it is. And there's clearly he's the anointed. He's one of the anointed, you know, now the, to way, me, the, the way, the way he wins it all, is if Jason Tannen becomes one of the top five players in the okay. NBA at some point in his career. I, I think then you win it all, but I think you, you have a, to have you have to have Tatum be elite. And, Tatum, and he's already an all-star. He made an all-star game in year three. If he could replicate the game he just played against the Clippers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about 40 times out of the 82, right? That's pretty and, tough. That's what we're talking about. Because that has to be one of the handful of best all-around games anybody has played in this league this year. You know, I, I mean, it was a it was a spectacular performance, and 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 on both ends because he's now developed himself into a you know the key is he's he's taken pride in becoming a defensive player. He wants to be a great player. 
player. He doesn't just want to be a great offensive player. He wants to be a great player. He's still 21 years old. He's 20. Amazing. Think about so many, of these, so many of these guys. I mean, he's not the whole, whole guy. We could have this conversation about several other guys in this league, uh, uh, how incredibly precocious they are. And and he's but he's certainly at the top of the list among the bigs. No, not the top, the top, the top. Well, and under uh, under, I'll draw a line under twenty three. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I, no. Listen, and, and as you said, is is in, in, entering into the middle age. You know what is he? Twenty five. You know. <laughs> the part that blew me away in that Clippers game, Bob, and, and I kept tweeting about him scoring, and then the game was over, and I said, like, how did I not tweet about his defense on Kawhi? Yeah. It was amazing. What? Yes. It was absolutely. Oh, it was it was great. But that's asking a lot of anybody to replicate that forty yeah. times. But but I I think you make an excellent point. He's got the capability of being an elite, a truly elite player. Uh, we have other the other guys. They have other guys. Uh, Brown's going to be a very very nice player yeah. and is a nice player and and smart is smart. You know yeah. I think. What we see is what we get. We're not going to get any more or less out of Smart than we now see. He's not going to develop into a, a 20 points a game. No. But he's capable of a 25-point night every now and then when the when that, that erratic three-point shot is falling. But the other thing is the other stuff he gives you is there every single. Yeah, yeah. Other stuff. What, what you need, you honestly probably need to win it all to replace Gordon Hayward with a big, with a, with a dominant big. And, yeah. and I don't know where you find that, Dominic. Where do you find that? I know. The world, you know, there's so few, you know, anyway, yeah, we know that. Well, yeah. anyway, it's, you know, they're, they're, they're anyway, they, they're, people like them. They're fun. We're, we're happy. To, we like watching them. Uh, we, there's this, they're all, it's all harmonious this year. And it's, so it's a lot, it's a lot different, but it's good.